This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Oh, oh, you make my earthquake. Oh, yeah, you make my earthquake. Riding around, something, 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 making my heart break. Oh, you make my earthquake. Oh, you make my earthquake. Riding, riding, riding my heart break. Don't leave. Igor, not the album. <laughs> Tee hee, not the album, dude. Igor, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. You see, sometimes in life, there are just these types of movies that just stay in your brain and hide away in the deepest, darkest corners. There are movies that just stick in the back and just seeing an image flash on the screen, you're sent into the beyond. You see, I love these movies a lot. Not because they're good movies, but because they're fascinating. I think my favorite part about these vague memories of these types of movies usually stems from the character designs. Like for example, a hunchback. Hunchbacks, oh boy, ooh, do I love me some hunchbacks. Give me a tiny boy with a with a, with a bookcase on his shoulders, Latimus dorsi muscles that I can just nibble on, dude. Oh, Jesus. My favorite hunchback in the world has to be Igor. He's just so, so beautiful. He's purple on the poster despite never being purple once in the movie. And he's voiced by John Cusack. For some reason, I can't believe Tyler the Creator made an album based off of a 2008 animated movie. <laughs> God, that's so quirky. Igor is a 2008 heartbreak album starring so many old white people. Jesus, what is this casting? I mean, Steve Buscemi voicing this cat is one of the most accurate casting choices ever made. I mean, they look like twins. Now, let me get this out of the way. Igor is not a good movie. In fact, it makes me sad. As a kid, this movie actually seemed really incredible. The world and the characters Characters felt unique, but God, it does not live up to that memory. Everything instead is just a Tim Burton clone, but ugly. It's literally if you took the world of Nightmare Before Christmas and made it really boring and really ugly. Both Mayor slash Kings are like the exact same and even sound the exact same. Nightmare Before Christmas even had an Igor. Wow, Igor, you stole your Igor. <laughs> I'm so hurt. This movie is also made by MGM Studios. What movie has MGM Studios made in the last decade that you remember? I mean, Adam's Family? comes out next week I mean sure I guess but here's the big bomb here's the ball being dropped on your head are you ready for this I'm about to drop some hard facts on you Igor has the same director as the emoji movie yep I want that to sink in this movie was made by the same person that made this I mean the main characters even look the same and are the same both characters live in a world where they're forced to conform to who they are but they say nah fam nah I'm gonna make my own destiny yeah I, I don't know which movie I'd rather watch over the other because at least the emoji movie looks kind of pretty to look at this one look at this it's so ugly open season 2 came out the same time and it was a direct to DVD movie and yet it looks way Way less ugly than this high budget movie released in theaters. Look at this transition. Look at this transition. I'm going to barf. Hey, you know what isn't barf though? This new merch. Yeah, we got adorable merch at 24framesnick.shop or you can click the link in the description. It's so, it's so cute. It's, it looks better than the movie at least. The movie begins with a classic animated movie narration. Igor talks about his town and it's called Malaria. Okay, best joke of the movie is that this town is called Malaria. Haha, <laughs> stinky town. So Igor tells us about how this town was dope and all. It was cool and pretty until clouds came in one day. And now the town is just a bunch of science scientists creating terrible devices to mess with people around the world. So it's literally just a town of doofensmirches. Doofensmirches? Doofensmai? Is the plural of doofensmirch just doofensmirch? So we get a montage of a bunch of Igors being told to pull switches and stuff. <laughs> Igors be like. We then see how Igor tries to give his scientists ideas, but the scientist is like, nah, dude, you're, you're ugly. I'm smarter. But meanwhile, Igor has already made stuff. He made a brain, a dumb brain named Brian, and he made a cat that wants to die. Voiced by Steve Buscemi. It's literally a cat that wants to constantly game end itself. He's all existential and stuff. We literally just reached the seven minute mark and we got a cat <laughs> trying to off himself. Ha ha, you, you make my earthquake. <laughs> we then meet another scientist called Dr. Schadenfraud, which is a pun, I guess. Like, 
Shaden fraud. He's a fraud and he steals all the other devices to stay as a top scientist. But ignore all that. Look how ugly this animation is, dude. Come on, I'm gonna throw up. Come on, come on, it's just so gross. It's like if you took some crayons and a bottle of root beer and just threw them both at a wall, but the root beer was actually vomit and the crayons were also vomit. We also meet the mayor who not only looks like the Nightmare Before Christmas mayor, but also mixed with Doug Dimidome. Is daddy still mad at me? Yo, yo, uh, what? So Igor's scientist is seen making a rocket ship and then it blows up and he explodes. Igor uses this as a way to take over the lab because very conveniently, Mayor comes in and asks him what the new invention is. And Igor is like, yo, he's making life. Now, by now, through the movie, you'd notice that the pacing is so incredibly odd. The flow and energy is just impossible to keep up with because literally 30 seconds after we get all of this, we get a montage of Igor creating the monster. Monster. He then puts a bone in her finger. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with you, dude. And then the monster is given life, but not before some terrible sassy attitude from the depressed cat. Do not yell at me. The monster escapes and plays with blind orphans. This is a very important part of the movie's ending. I just want you to keep this aspect in mind, alright? Okay, so like, the movie has a lot of dark comedy. A lot of fake dark comedy. Where it's like, yo, aren't we so edgy? We're making fun of blind orphans, dude. No other animated movie has as big cojones as us, dude. Meanwhile, all the edgy jokes feel forced and boring. Instead of having charm, instead of being a fun, quirky movie, it's uninspired. They find out that the monster is not evil, which is bad. She has to be evil so Igor can show the world that he's capable of creating something. He needs to be creative or his daddy will hate him. His daddy will make him go back to med school. <laughs> And I don't want to go back to med school, daddy. I don't want to go. They take her to a thing called a brainwash. Haha, <laughs> funny, cute, a car wash, but it's a brainwash. We meet a fly with a human head, which terrifies me in my dreams. Hey, no one think of this guy before you go to sleep tonight. Don't do it. You'll see him in your dreams forever if you do. Fly guy is not a shy guy. <laughs> He'll haunt you. So during the brainwash, Eva's watching TV thing and gets it messed up and like causes her to act like an actor, leading for her to just be the most annoying character for the rest of movie. We then get a chase sequence where Schadenfraud wants to steal Eva, and it's just so odd. You're gonna tell me that this feels normal to you? <laughs> this has totally ruined my spa day! Like this isn't some low budget bootleg of any animated movie. Schadenfraud gets shrunken and just scares away a rat. Yeah. Go away! I, look, I'm very important. What is going on? Like seriously, what is going on? We then meet an invisible guy not wearing pants. What are you doing? Scratching my invisible butt! Igor then starts to embrace Eva as a nice actor person and says that being evil should just be a role for her. And together the whole gang starts to bond while we also get the occasional scheme from Schadenfraud. Eventually all this culminates to Igor being found out that his scientist is dead and he's been doing his own thing. This leads for him to be recycled like Toy Story 3. And Schadenfraud takes Eva to the monster festival, invention festival, Camp Flogna, I don't know. Things move really fast in this movie dude, it's kind of hurting my brain. At the invention beat down, Igor climbs a tower above the clouds and sees that there's sunlight out there for the first time, showing that the mayor has been making the town gloomy and poopy. It's all his fault. And you know what? The movie needed that plot element. It needed to be in darkness because in sunlight, it's so ugly. It's somehow even more ugly. Fraud forces Eva to become evil and fight in the invention festival, leading for a scene that I wish was better, where Eva starts to sing a song from Annie and fight while doing Doing it and like this could be a better scene it could be emotional and crazy but instead it just feels off but of course she wins Igor brings her back to sense everyone that gets all angry at Doug Dimidome and they bring sunshine back to malaria and then we get the single most iconic ending in any animated movie this movie has these blind orphans go out on stage and sing I can see clearly now oh yeah the rain is gone I can see clearly now, the rain is 
it's it's a, it's a thing of beauty and that's e poor Igor is not a good movie, but I wish it was. I wish this movie was more creative, more full of heart, more anything. It's such a fascinating gothic world where there are just no rules. It's gloomy and cute, it has the potential to be fun and great and creative, but instead it's wasted. It seriously could have been on some like same level as the world in Nightmare Before Christmas if only it wasn't made by a talentless hack. I mean, sure, when this movie came out, none of us had any idea that this guy would go on to create the Emoji Movie, but we could have stopped him. We could have stopped this man. One of the biggest issues with this movie is just how lazily last second all of it feels. In fact, just weeks before release, they went back and recorded so much of the audio for all the characters and just threw it in. So that's why if you see their mouths just not matching with any words whatsoever, it's because they just didn't bother to animate it to do so. As a speed bump! You don't care for any characters in this movie except very slightly Igor, but even that feels bland because it's so generic and his beady eyes just creep me out. This was the first time I watched this movie in about 10 years and god I don't think I'll watch it ever again and that kind of makes me sad. It always makes me sad when people have such good worlds, such good premises and ideas, such good setups that are just wasted and given no passion to give a perfect tale. If anything, that's like almost like a metaphor for Igor himself. The scientist is always creating inventions and they're all failing because they have no passion. And yet, Igor himself, he's making all this stuff quickly and easily. And hey, maybe if he wanted to show off those inventions, like on a cool and slick portfolio, there's a place he could do that. I mean, does he really deserve it? Nah, probably not. Okay, fine. He could be using Squarespace. What? Gone are the days of gloomy, hard to make website that cause you to explode. Here are the days of Squarespace. If you go to squarespace.com slash 24 frames, you can build a stunningly beautiful website that you can see clearly, unless you're a blind orphan. I mean, how are you gonna build a site if you're a- Squarespace is the all-in-one platform with no updates, no plugins, no patches, whatever. With 24 seven, 365 day support, you can guarantee that you'll always have someone to help you on your site day or night for any questions you have. You can make beautiful websites about fruit flies, Igor, Igor but backwards. I mean, why not? It's just so easy and convenient. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash 24 frames and use code 24 frames to get 10% off your first purchase. Well, Igor, looks like you can see clearly now. So go to a chiropractor or something, dude. I'm worried about you.